morning guys today is a sunday and today i'm going to film a different kind of video it's basically a what i eat in a day but kind of like a cheat day on a day that i'm out i'm going to be out all day today i'm going to be meeting a friend i'm going to go shopping we're going to have dinner and i'm going to take you along with me and show you what i eat um i normally do what i eat in a day um at home and i cook so i think this will be like a nice mix because i love watching people go to restaurants and eat in general so i thought this would be like yeah why haven't i done this before i eat out quite a lot um and especially today when i'm gonna be eating out all day like the entire day so snacks lunch dinner everything's gonna be outdoors so i thought it would be cool to show you guys where i eat what i eat how it tastes and whether i recommend it or not yeah my room is a mess per usual never mind that i just wanted to quickly show what i'm wearing so i've got this silky skirt on i've got this from uniqlo actually no i didn't i got it from h and m i'm lying and it has pockets which i absolutely love i wear this a lot this is my most flattering midi skirt because it's so skimming and so like flowy it doesn't add any extra bulk and then i have my um, biker boots on um, because I'm going to be walking a lot today so I just want to be comfy these are from Clark's honestly the best um, biker boots that I have and um, they're really comfy I have a little crop top on this one is from Sarah um, it's really warm because yeah it's not a lot of fabric but it's really like tight fitted and body hugging so it's really warm and then I have this blazer on from H&M which I actually got in a sale like maybe two weeks ago I got it for £10 so it's quite good um, necklaces are from Accessorize the said collection which is the gold plated collection uh, rings are Monica Finida and then my bag is uh, my Louis Vuitton um, back backpack not backpack and um, bum bag which has been my everyday go-to bag i just love it so much it fits a lot in and i don't worry about it getting like scratched or anything oh my voice and then i have a hair tie in case i want to tie my hair back so yeah this is what i'm wearing today actually i love this outfit it's one of my favorite outfits in a long time i kind of forgot how to dress um since covid but this is my outfit love need to leave now Japan Centre in Ichiban in Westfield and I got this um, meal deal so this meal deal was £14.90 and then you get the classic ramen you get some edamame and then you get a drink and I went for aloe vera and I also have some sushi as well this was £3.95 for four pieces and there wasn't a lot of choice today so I just went for this one and I also got some wasabi crisps uh, to try because they looked really good and um, they were 199 and now I've got some stuff We are like, <laughs> <laughs> 
talk whilst I was eating these noodles because it was about 1pm and I didn't have any breakfast so I ate really really quickly but these noodles were wow, honestly the bomb I've had to show you before in the Soho Piccadilly Circus branch and I remember that the um, broth was really salty and full of MSG um, which is why I never went back um, but this time I think they've changed it or maybe it's a different branch this broth was honestly amazing the noodles were cooked to perfection and then yeah I just ate that so quick it was so so good I highly recommend um, the shoyu in Westfield it was so good honestly that sells baklava um, this is the selection so there's pistachio nuts um, yeah a lot of it is um, pistachio and nuts and then there's Turkish delight all the way across here yeah. oh, so good. much choice you want to try one look this one sounds really good it's sesame seed for pistachio yeah all of these Turkish delights look so good Lemon. Lemon. Oh, the almond one looks nice as well. It looks like a marshmallow. This section, they have a lot of different kind of nuts, chocolate treats, roasted nuts. Um, so there's wasabi peanut crackers, peanut crackers, wasabi, chickpeas, mixed nuts, almonds. Um, also, they have dried fruits. Oh my gosh, I love these pineapples and the non-sugared ones um, prunes, dates oh and they have like hot almonds wow and salted almonds oh my god so much macadamia cheese we've just come to Chinatown to have dinner we've come into a restaurant called Khao San uh, basically we want lobster and Chinese dinner really classic dinner this is my first time in Chinatown since Covid um, which is quite busy uh, it's busier than I expected but we have ordered um, lobster, veggies, rice and what else do we order? Oh, tofu. Got some tofu and rice as well. So I'll show you when the food comes. Lobsters arrived. It's got some noodles at the bottom. It's um, with ginger and spring onion. It's good. It's good. Too many sauces. The noodles are good. Oh, man. Mm. It's juicy. Mm. 
vlog last night i honestly was so tired and had such a food coma we left chinatown at like half past 10 so as you can imagine it was quite late so i didn't finish the vlog so i thought i'd quickly finish the vlog here and i also have a baklava and um, so my friend got me one from the company that I showed you earlier in Westfield it was so busy in there so it must be good I did go for the pistachio one um, I have had baklava before but I can't really remember what it tastes like and um, so I'm still trying it on camera now so it just looks like this look at that, that looks really pretty um, apparently they're really sweet I can't really remember what it tastes like but Mmm, that is yummy. But again, it is really, really sweet. Mmm. I definitely cannot eat this in one go. It's one of those things that you just like take two bites and then you have to put back in the bag and save it for later. It's really heavy. Um, well, that is nice though. This is by Kernel and Roast. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please let me know. I would absolutely love, love, love to make more of these vlogs, uh, my eating vlogs, because I honestly just love eating. And I know that I feature cooking in my vlogs quite a lot, but when I go out to eat with friends or whatever, I hardly vlog because first of all, I don't like getting my vlog camera out in front of my friends because I feel like if I'm spending time with my friends then that's what I should be doing and not thinking about vlogging or working and second of all when good food comes to the table I just want to eat it really quickly like I just want to put it in my mouth um, but yesterday I did spend like before each meal I did spend like a couple of minutes setting up the camera making sure the lighting was okay that I was in focus and whatnot but it was actually really fun I absolutely love it I just love food videos on YouTube and I watch so many so I thought it would be a good idea to do my own and just do more what I enjoy basically and that's like I said um, before in terms of YouTube channel direction I just want to do more of what I like and share it with you guys and every time I post on Instagram like a food place I get lots of DMs well, um, asking me where it is, whether it's worth it, whether I've tried this place, that place. So yeah, these videos just no brainer really. I just love these kind of videos. So if you want me to make more of these videos or if you enjoyed this video, just go and leave me a comment and let me know because without comments and likes, I honestly do not know whether you guys like it or not. Maybe you just watch it and you're like, oh, and then you switch off. I don't know. Um, or maybe you absolutely love it and you watch the entire video and now you're inspired to go out and eat at certain places yeah I just love it I love food I can't lie I have this relationship with food where because I ate so much yesterday today I'm just gonna clean my home and make some congee and that's how I balance my diet if I'm eating out all the time then the next day I'll just scale it back and eat something a little bit more lighter so yeah, um, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.